Hello everyone and welcome to my video on configuration and flavor or setup flavor. Um, you're gonna need a pad and pen of some sort so uh, pause the video now and grab that if you don't have it because you're gonna need it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First off, I will put up diagrams for setups and configurations. I have a couple of different setups that I can show you that in I've scoured a lot of forms and the best ones that I could find that work for other people because what this is going to end up being is one setup's not going to fit all. It's not one size fits all type thing. What it is is we're trying to get a, a good base which I will provide for you today and you can tweak from there but in order to tweak we really need to get to know what each thing it does on the slide on the sliders in the game so we're gonna start off with gain basically gain equals what that does is um, it's a final force feedback output strength um, when you see it's up at a hundred that's basically set there uh, it says that it wants in the forms that I read basically if it, it's set at a hundred that's for PC users and or people with direct drive wheels so for our Thrustmaster T150 we're not going to have it set at a hundred most likely not um, there's also a huge factor in this whole thing which a term they call clipping and basically what that is and I'll put I'll put a description down in the link or description down in of what it is down in this description just click on more underneath this video and you'll see and see if you can make heads or tails of it from what I tell you and by reading that you should get a complete understanding of what clipping is um, there's also a toggle window widget widget yeah it's a widget for showing if clipping is actually happening because this is really 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 important if you put too high a settings on your setups um, what that does is it confuses your wheel can only take so much in information to know what to do and what your how you know so, so you can feel what's going on with your car um, if you put too much information into your wheel it's, it gets confused and it and if it's even just a, a little bit over it doesn't know what to do so it messes up all your other settings so you gotta stay with underneath the clipping you know so it doesn't have clipping you can't have clipping that's bottom line so let's get started we'll get back to the clipping in a minute first off we're gonna go with gain gain is basically force final force feedback output strength all PC should set this at a hundred or people with direct drive wheels which doesn't really pertain to us um, that's what you need to know about gain so we're gonna dial back on the gain most likely okay volume volume is it controls clipping and the general weight of your wheel so you you would start at like 50 percent and just add to add to actually add weight or it'll add weight to your wheel or down to make your wheel feel a little bit lighter so when you add more it's more pronounced and it adds a little bit of weight to your wheel so you that's where you, everyone's gonna start at 50 percent on volume everybody it's it's a baseline now we go down to tone tone what that does is it emphasizes certain force feedback effects so if you're set at tone uh, at zero so tone at zero you're more s you have more surface detail but you lose the tire slip feel which a lot of people need that tire slip feel um, so it basically it's give and take if you you sacrifice one way or the other so th that's gonna be set at 50 as well to where if you were on a hundred on tone you feel more tire slip but the surface detail will be less obvious so it's definitely suggested that we start at 50 now all your dead zone options 
should be set at zero because basically what I've learned from from tinkering is when you have any kind of dead zone like say for instance dead zone and a break you have it on one to five if you could step on the brakes and it's not going to react it's going to be a delayed reaction you don't want that so you, all your dead zones just trust me it's it's zero um, now we'll go down to FX FX controls um, FX controls how obvious surface details are like bumps or curbs and but beware of clipping it can occur if the settings are too high so we're gonna start that one at 50 so that's the base setup for all your configuration is your like I said all your dead zones are gonna be zero but all the other ones steering sensitivity is gonna be at 50 throttle sensitivity is at 50 braking sensitivity is at 50 and clutch sensitivity is at 50 now we get down to this one's pretty important the speed sensitivity that's another issue the speed sensitivity is pretty important because let's see where I got it in my notes speed sensitivity controls how much the wheels turn when you're when you turn your steering wheel okay let me say that again speed sensitivity which this should be set at 45 and that's per Ben Collins from Top Gear, the Stig. So if he says so, it's got to be true, right? Right? Okay. Speed sensitivity controls how much the wheels turn when you turn your steering wheel. Meaning, the higher the settings, the less the wheel will turn at a higher speed. So that's pretty important because you don't want the wheel to turn so fast like especially when you're like turning the corners and stuff because that you'll lose grip so you want to I mean you don't want to crank it but you want to actually get a feel for if you're sliding too much in corners if you're taking the cor the apex correctly so we're all gonna start at 45 and I'm guessing you would go up and now if I'm wrong with this but just know try it at 45 and if that doesn't work slide it a notch or two to the left or right to see how it feels okay now dap dapper damper dapper damper saturation you're gonna put it at 25 I have no explanation for the damper but just set it at 25 and leave it leave it at that now that's your base so we'll go through this again all your dead zones are at zero and I'm going to say this so you can possibly, if you're on your wheel right now, set on your configuration, all your all your dead zones are at zero. Steering sensitivity is 50. Throttle sensitivity is at 50. Braking sensitivity is at 50. Clutch sensitivity is at 50. All of them 50 all the way till you get to speed sensitivity. That's 45. Damper saturation is 25. Okay that's that one now let me we already explained that that and that um let's see what else I'd like to give a shout out to Derek Cross he actually uh, a viewer that saw my video and I gave him I guess I gave him a good baseline to start his his um, adjustments and he was nice enough to give us his setup which is right here he had it on raw and you can just plug in as you go 90 60 90 75 and that bottom the spring strength menu stuff there Let's see what is where did my notes go here? No. Oh. Basically, what the sprint that is at the bottom, the 0, 0.00, you don't really have to mess around with that um, because all that is is spring strength, menu spring strength, is when you exit your car and go back to the game menu. That's, that's how much you, how much your steering wheel 
moves when you exit your car and you go back to the game menu. So that has like no bearings on any control. So you, who cares, right? All right. So also I'll have here um, a couple more setups that you can try. We're into yeah, we're uh, the flavor we're using is informative for the most part with those with these settings. But with your baseline that we already established, that we just talked about, if you want to use raw, you can use raw. But we're generally you're going to get the the better, in my opinion, informative flavor is what you want. And here is the settings for that. And you can tweak as much as you want. But these are just a couple that I've I've scoured a couple of forms, and well, actually more than a couple. You can't find this stuff out there, man. So, um, their, the feedback on that was, on these settings, is a couple people were like, yeah, that worked great for me, thank you. Um, so, these do work, and these are all from PlayStation owners. I made sure that they were PlayStation owners, and they were on the Thrustmaster. Now, it's Thrustmaster, some of them are Thrustmaster the 300 RS but it's still Thrustmaster and it should be fine for the most part because there's not a lot out there for our wheel the, the T150 but the Thrustmaster it should work same company same pretty much the same wheel just a little bit lower grade I guess but these should work so give these a try and let me know what you think and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you if you if this helped you out let give me some feedback how did it work did it help you really really it's just got me motivated to try to help to find a, a, not the perfect setup because one setup does not fit all the baseline yes you got to start somewhere and if there's any questions on any of the details of what these things mean I'll give you my best effort and answer and uh, do me a favor hit that like button and subscribe I mean, we're all racers here. Let's subscribe, subscribe to my channel. It's a good thing. It don't hurt at all. But thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. This is Magic, and I hope these settings work for you guys. Let me know. See you.